He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. The deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Harvard family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he's truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray in his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they're all sucked. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Harvey. Then he to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That the people mean so very little to one another. But there, there is, is no one out to get Jeremy Harwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Kirby. I, I want to make sure he's all right. And then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going along. Did you bring, bring a gun? gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you, you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first.
too dark in here. I can't see anything. I do. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of Dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batista and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words drummed up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave, Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again.
Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of... Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra's upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that that weight brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on the desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmick keys by now. I don't remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog with his found a strange rock permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blocks and streaks of fetid rock was talking to her. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed.
In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in the number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect an increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a... Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood blue, does she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just, I just came, came to, to make, make sure my, my uncle is all right. Well, he's unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And, and you, you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're, we're not, not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, that kid was waiting in the room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, Wait you, you can't. can't. Don't, Don't worry, worry. We'll, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's, it's the first door on your left. left. I'll, I'll tell, tell Dr. Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you, madam. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan which surely thunder time itself. Would he look the same to my father as he struggled for his life? 
does his veiled face haunt my knees quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt common in a tearaway. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senor Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one in shape and memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest, and I shall weep. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Help me out here, Leah. Would it kill the guy throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had as much junk lying around. Let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. coming. Miss Hartwood. Hartwood. Emily?
Hey. 